And welcome to the super fun, awesome, happy time, little amp and headphone amp pedal show. My name is Gabor. Hey, welcome along. I'm Alex. We're going to check out the headphone amp from Mostronics. Yes. And uh, please hit like and subscribe to the channel first. If you could hit uh, ding the notification bell, leave a comment below. And um, thanks for Andrew for sending this to us. Yes. Okay, yeah. I'm going to go a little lower. I'm too tall. Yes. Uh, so Andrew from Mostronics sent this to us. So this is a sponsored video, uh, just so you know. Sure, no, we're, cool. we're, I'm a giant. <laughs> um, <clears throat> oh, so, so, you know, we've kind of got some setups going today. Yes. Um, it can be used as a little practice amplifier. It's only a couple One of watt. One watt. So basically, I mean, what you can do with it is you have an input uh, and you have uh, two headphone outputs. I'll show a picture from the side, the little headphone and a normal guitar jack sized headphone. Um, and then you also have a speaker output. Now the speaker output can go into an eight ohm speaker uh, as a one watt practice amp. Mm. And that's sort of what we're mainly focusing on today. We're gonna do a little bit of uh, plugging into that and see what it sounds like direct as well. You also have an auxiliary in so you can play along with an MP MP3 player or something like that. Um, yeah. But so yeah, the setup, the setup. Oh yeah, we're mocking our cab, we've just got a single 12. It's got a Celestian Green back in it. Uh, Lewitt MTP 440 microphone on the front. Look people. Doing the microphone thing. And we'll get to the, um, the line out later. Yeah. We're going to use it as a little practice amplifier. Um, it does have some gain, and it's like a little amplifier itself. So I believe it has this Meerschall circuit, mm. which you can watch the video on the pedal, the Meerschall pedal up here. Uh, it's got it's like a Marshall style sound. I mean, one watt, all transistor, but Marshall style sound. That yeah. vein, uh, gain, bass, middle, treble, volume, and the auxiliary volume because there's an extra aux in. Yeah. There's also the ultra low switch and a bright switch. Uh, yeah, this does some kind of scoopy stuff as well. Yeah, yeah. Well, let's, do you want to start? Yeah, sure. Some single coils. So that's now going straight into the speaker that's just out of shot. Just there. Yeah. You can't see. Yeah, just there. Unless you have your special glasses on. Yes. Hang on. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Matrix star. <laughs> Maybe just briefly now, uh, leave that microphone on, the, the, vo the speaking mic, just so you can Talk roughly hear the volume it okay. is in the room. It's, it's, a, it's not it's an amp. quiet. You can talk it's, over it. it. We can talk over it, yeah. but it's, it's, it's good. Good talk. <laughs> room volume. Okay. So now the next bit, you'll hear the, uh, instead of the close mic, you hear the yeah. room mic. Now. <laughs> Now we're back to the close mic. It does gain up pretty quickly. Yeah, well, let's go cool. to Get some halfway, crunch, yeah. crunch to it. Again, Good more, more. So now, once you crank the gain and turn the volume up a little bit, it gets relatively loud. I mean, I, I wouldn't call it a an amp that you could use with a band, no. but for sort of quieter practicing at home, definitely record with it. Definitely record like, with it. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. could record with anything really. Yeah, because um, you using the microphone, but um, it's got enough volume to have some weight in the sound. Yeah, yeah. Um, probably put hit it with an overdrive pedal or something, get some more gain. Of course. Speaking of weight, let's try this switch. <laughs>
Semi chance. Yeah, cool. <laughs> it's a bit of a. I think maybe it's more for like bass and stuff. It seems to really kind of scoop out bits yeah. and then add lots of bass. It does remind me of that um that Ampeg thing. I don't know if you ever used an Ampeg fridge, <laughs> but like. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I know what you're talking about. <laughs> uh, well, we did that video with <laughs> Andrew here, actually. Was Andrew here? Yeah. The base, rack mount base pre? Oh, yeah. And it had that switch. That video's here. Reminds me of that. So maybe that's kind of the same, similar circuit. He's a base player. Yeah, sure. Do you want to have a spin on that? Yeah, let me have a go. Um, yeah. Okay, I'm using the Yamaha Revstar RSS02T. Uh, same sound. Catchy name. Oh, you switched it already. Yeah. Same sounds on a bridge pickup. <laughs> Yeah, well, that's with that kind of. There's no getting away from the mids on that mid that, hump that, thing on that thing, yeah. Sounds cool. We'll spin on the humbuckers for the sire. Marshall thing, isn't it? You turn everything yeah. up to 10. It kind of works. <laughs> it sounds good, actually. <laughs> With the P90s especially, it's noisier than with the uh, humbuckers, but... Actually, cr cr crank, it, crank it again for one second. I just want to see if it cleans up. Cleans it nicely. Well, should we stick in the um, headphone amp cable? Let's. Okay, so we're now plugged in directly into this. Okay. So we're just going guitar straight into this. The speaker's disconnected. This is just a headphone output. So this, I mean, the idea behind it, I think, is having a little device. If you just want to, uh, you know, at night have a quick jam along with some stuff, you don't want to yeah. plug a hundred things in. You have this, you stick your 
phone into that, headphones into that. Bob's your uncle. Rob's your father's brother. Good old Robert. Uh, and it sounds like this. It's not a super pristine, you know, cap sim, speaker emulation, yep. digital stuff. It's all analog. It's all, um, uh, what do frequency you call it? Freq frequency compensated. compensated. Yep. Um, but I mean, for a quick thing to plug in, I think to me, the way, the way it really shines is as a practice amp into a mm. small, like a small practice amp into a speaker. And when we did turn it up through the cab, it was fairly loud. It did get fairly loud, Could yeah. probably maybe practice with a light, like a light heating drummer. Yeah, or brushes, or... Yeah, or just a drummer in another house. Another house, next door, a drummer oh. next door. Uh, let me have a quick go direct. Sure. Got the other in-between sounds. Got a third in between sound. <laughs> I like the first one the best for you. Reminds me of that direct to console distortion. Like it doesn't sound like a greenback. Yeah, yeah. Kind of it, it's a like Beatles Abbey yeah. Road. That kind of thing. It is. Yeah. It has. I mean, it has a place. Uh, mm. Oh yeah. Well, you're good. You're done. Sure. Just He's done. I'm done. Reminds me of that. That's what reminds me of that. Uh, so I mean, that's basically the the HA2 mm. uh, headphone amp. Uh, Small thing, standard nine volt power. Uh, you've got the input, auxiliary input, which I guess the auxiliary input bypasses all that stuff. You just have a volume, so you don't hear it distorted, distorted and stuff. Uh, you've got the two types of headphone outputs there. Uh, you've got the speaker output, eight ohm speaker output, which you can run to a speaker cabinet. It's pretty easy to use, like all Mastronic stuff. It's built well. Yeah, sounds good. What do you guys think? Comments below. Yeah. Also, links below to Instagram, Facebook, and a podcast. Please check them out if you've got a second. Yeah. And, um, yeah, thanks again for Andrew for sending us some toys to check out. Andrew. Always coming up with new stuff. Yeah. And um, that's about it. See you in the next one. Yeah, we'll see you soon. Bye. Catch you.